On this episode, I'm going to be showing you top 10 reasons why your toilet might be leaking and I'll show you some tips and tricks on how to fix them. So stay tuned. I'm Jay from Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So if you're inside your bathroom and you notice some water around your toilet, I want you to go and check out these 10 things that are probably causing that leak. So let's first start and dive into the water supply. So if you're new at working on toilets, don't get intimidated. They're not as complex as you might think. They're very easy once you start taking them apart. You'll notice that all the parts in here are very simple and straightforward. You see three parts, which is the toilet bowl, toilet tank, and the water supply line. So like I mentioned, one of the common things about toilet leaks is the water supply line. You see that there might be a water puddle here that is coming around this area. Again, I'm gonna put these parts to you in layman's terms as much as possible. I'm not gonna use some jargon on you or some complex wording that you're not gonna understand. So we're gonna try to make it as simple as possible. Again, you see this water line. This is the water line that is flexible or you can say it's a water hose. But inside here, it's very common. Inside, once you um, unscrew this, inside of this is a rubber seal. Over time, that gets worn out due to the sediments, the bacteria, it'll wear out that rubber seal inside there. So you can go to your hardware store and buy a replacement uh, rubber seal in there, rubber gasket. Just replace that and you'll be fine. Or sometimes these are just typically old, sometimes even painted like this from past owners and they get brittle and they start to crack. And these aren't that expensive. You can just go and replace this. All you gotta do is unscrew this um, bolt right here and unscrew this and you should be able to replace that number two why your toilet might be leaking I want you to open the toilet tank so don't be afraid to open these there's no monster hidden in there just easily take off and pop out the cover so if you check out my other videos I made videos on how to replace these parts so go check that out I'll leave it on the link in the description or just wait to the end of this video or I'll leave it on the description down below but Another reason why your toilet might be leaking is you have a worn out flapper valve. We call this the flush valve. This is the fill valve. Flush valve has a flapper in there. So sometimes sediments over time, those deteriorate because of the bacteria and the sediments in the water. That flapper valve will eventually get worn out, it'll get warped and you'll start having leaks. So I'm not gonna talk much about internal leaks. We're mostly talking about external in this video, but I wanna specify that because that's one of the common ones that easy fixes that you can do. And you can actually detect that there's a water leak coming out through the tank to the bowl, and you'll start seeing water start dripping out onto the bowl without you even flushing it. And it's because of that worn out thing. That's an easy fix. It takes about a few seconds to do and yeah check out those videos i made on that but that's another common reason why your toilet might be leaking internally quite externally so i can't really decipher that you decipher it for yourself third most common reason why you might have a leak on your toilet is because you have an aging or worn out tank bolts the newer versions now don't have these they're actually attached um, underneath and they don't have any more penetrations through your tank but these tank bolts right here is what connects your toilet tank to your toilet bowl. And it's actually what's stopping that are these gaskets right here, this toilet rubber seal on both sides. And over time, those rubber gasket seals get uh, deteriorates from the sediments and just the bacteria, just like what happens to your flapper. But check those, sometimes those around those turn brown. It's because of the sediment. You want, you want to check those and get those replaced. Again, I made a separate video on that, on how to replace it, and I'll leave it on the on this top right. Check between your toilet tank and your toilet bowl. And if, if you look right here, this is where it comes out. You see this bolt right here? That's where it's connected. And if you look through here, that's where you, that bolt is. Sometimes the leak will come through out there and start to dripping out here onto the floor right there. So you always want to double check check here if you see any watermarks so if you see a watermarks from this area most likely 
the leak is coming from your toilet tank bolts and toilet tank washer again i made a video on that how to replace it but go check this out it's a very easy fix so common leak number four is right here if you look if you lift this toilet up you will see that underneath you have a wax seal or a rubber seals those fail sometimes over time it gets old Again, the wax is supposed to last 20 years, but it gets messy. That's why I like using the better than wax rubber seal. If you lift up this toilet and you look underneath, you'll see that there is a flange under there that on between the toilet bowl and the, to and the flange is the rubber wax seal or the rubber seal. So check those over time. Those get really old and that sometimes the rubber seal, if you use better than wax, it uh, folds over and which will cause the water to start leaking underneath here so if you see water underneath the perimeter on your toilet depending again sometimes people caulk this around here and you'll never notice that leak but if you do start seeing water seeping out of here it's because that wax ring or that rubber ring or gasket it has probably failed and it's very easy to do again i made a separate video on that so now going to the fifth reason why your toilet might be leaking is your fill valve so right there you see the toilet um, tank bolts right right there next to it on the same level you see where the fill valve penetrates through the tank right there and it's kind of orange color that's one of the seals that are stopping water from coming out of the to toilet tank go check around there that's probably has failed also due to you know sediments and again bacteria those is made out of rubber that might be failing and it will probably start leaking right around here where this water supply line is you see that this lock nut right here between around here you'll start seeing water coming out that's probably where the water is seeping out because of the, that rotting or deteriorating uh, fill valve seal and again Anything that penetrates this tank from underneath, you want to check those penetrations because most commonly those things are the one that's causing the leak. So look around here if you see a wet spot around this area dripping out here. Don't get it confused sometimes with the hose, but double check if it's wet here before checking out the hose first. If this is wet all the way down, it's probably most likely the hose. If it's dry up here, then that's the hose problem. If this is wet, all the way to the hose then you might have two problems but you might want to see that this might be the one that's causing the leak all right common leak number six again like what we talked about the fill valve gasket or that seal under there same thing goes with your flush valve seal if you look under there underneath this flapper is another rubber seal again anything that penetrates the tank is a common cause for leakage all right, so again, again, rubber seal that will deteriorate. And if you look under here, there is that seal right there. That's what's causing. I can't really show you from underneath the tank, but if you look underneath that black ring right there, underneath it is a rubber seal. Again, most of the time that doesn't fail, but again, it's, it penetrates the tank. So that's another um, area that you might want to consider another issue with that I'll combine it with uh, common leak number seven is connected it's another connected uh, issue with this flush valve is if you go underneath here if you look between if we, if we lift this up and you look between the tank and the tank bowl right there is a little rubber seal rubber flange as you might say that connects the toilet tank to the toilet bowl and it's made out of rubber sometimes they'll get those get seated not correctly and it's probably folded over and it'll start leaking around here so i'm going to combine eight and nine together because they're fairly you know uh, related to each other so again you have your fill valve and you have your flush valve sometimes your flush valve float this is a more common float i, I see the older floats are you see that ball that floats right here this is some more modern ones that have the float on here. Sometimes they might fail and it'll start overflowing. And again, very rare occasion. This might be clogged for some reason. This might fail your float, which is a rare occasion for both of them to fail, which I hope it doesn't happen and it'll start filling up. And again, water will start spewing out of your toilet tank. Again, that's the worst case scenario that could ever happen. 
I've never seen that happen before, but you never know anything could happen. Um, you probably have kids or that are probably playing around here, throws toys in here or some kind of a bunch of tissues. I don't know how it might end up there, but this might get clogged. Toilet uh, float might fail at the same time. Both of them will fail and the water starts rising, spewing out, and that'll be a major, major catastrophe. It might not happen, but you never know. So double check these often. Make sure that your float is working. Make sure that this is clear of any clogs and check for any cracks as well because you might end up you know having water running continuously and you'll end up paying a lot on your water bill if you made it this far to tip number 10 thank you so much again common leak problem issue number 10 is a crack on your porcelain so you might be changing out the wax ring in here or rubber ring or whatever you want to call it so i get a lot of comments on my other video where i replace the gasket or the toilet flange or wax ring under there and they say i why did i take out my tank why didn't i just take out this take out the whole thing i i can't this is heavy this is heavy right here and the only thing connecting this heavy tank to this toilet bowl is those toilet tank bolts right there and those things are just really really flimsy they're not that strong again porcelain will crack if you try to move this this thing shifts back and forth the tank bolts penetration right there will start shifting around start grinding that hole and it will start cracking your your porcelain that's why i always want to separate this every time i move this just so that i don't put enough stress on that area of the tank and will possibly crack that porcelain so i hope you understand what i'm talking to you about that Again, you can take that out. I'm not saying you, you can't, but again, words of caution, if you don't have the right tool to lift this out, professional plumbers have these jacks or whatnot that can lift this up all at once controllably without proper shakes and whatnot. And yeah, if, you, if you're not professional, if you don't do this uh, often, I highly suggest that you take these two apart. Again, it's probably extra work, but it'll prevent you from cracking your porcelain. Always check around here check around the bolts for any stress marks or anything like that again that's another one of those extreme cases where you might have that leak it's because you have a crack on your porcelain so always do a 360 full around inspection back and forth underneath to check for the integrity and the stability of your porcelain and that's just my top 10 common reasons why your toilet might be leaking if i forgot to mention something if you've experienced something different on on any leaks around your toilet let me know leave it in the comment section down below i would like to read it and like to know so i can you know share it to other people and it'll help other people out as well again thank you so much for tuning in welcome to fix this house i'll see you on the next video